Hello guys and welcome to another video of my channel. In this video I have a triple reveal for you. Uh, two items from Louis Vuitton and one item from Gucci that I have recently purchased. Uh, if you want to find out what I have got, please keep on watching and let's get into this video. Uh, this is not a true unboxing because I have already uh, unboxed them, uh, so I decided to call this a reveal instead. I have three items uh, for you that I want to show you, and the first one is an I is an item I bought a uh, preload. I don't know if you heard of the luxury closet, and uh, they are based in uh, Dubai. And uh, their uh, private uh, sellers can uh, sell their uh, items. Uh, I think most of the items there are quite expensive and overpriced because you find a lot of well used items. Uh, and paying almost uh, the same as retail for well used items is not the something I would uh, want. Uh, but I found this one, this was a great deal for me. And uh, I'm going to show you what's inside this, uh, this dust bag. And here you see, I bought an agenda uh, MM in the Epi uh, leather. And uh, I have already uh, a small agenda from Louis Vuitton. I also have a small agenda from Gucci. Uh, but I wanted a bigger uh, agenda for uh, writing notes, uh, etc. Uh, so I decided to uh, go for this one, but buying a new one is quite um, expensive, so I decided to go the preload route. Uh, the good thing about this one, it was uh, in like new condition, that's not something you find a lot of in a luxury closet. Uh, so I uh, decided to buy this one and I knew already, uh, I have some notes here. From uh, something else. Uh, I knew that it was uh, the real deal because it was a uh, hot stamp and uh, you can't get the hot stamp items uh, from LV unless they are authentic. Um, this is uh, like you saw made in France. And the nice thing about it also that it came with this agenda. It was <laughs> 2012 but that's not the thing I liked about it. It's like this uh, also you can see uh, LV note uh, sheet here. Uh, it also came with you see here uh, LV. Uh, but the nice thing about this one that it came with you know uh, maps. It came with uh, the ruler here. It's uh, small stickers. Uh, it came with of course you can. Uh, have a phone size, but it came here with uh, different uh, measurements here. It uh, is uh, also uh, numbers to all the Louis Vuitton stores uh, around the world. And a lot of these numbers I'm sure is still uh, the real deal. And it's a world map here, etc. Uh, I didn't know that uh, when I bought it. I just um, assumed that that was something uh, just... Uh, that was the taken out of this agenda, but you can also have the phone, phone sites here, uh, etc. So I thought, okay, I got this uh, included. So I was uh, quite happy with uh, this uh, buy. You see here, it has this, this slip pocket here. And on the front, like I saw, there were these uh, credit card slots here. And it says, I don't know if you can see. The so LV on the bottom here, and uh, maybe you noticed uh, already, but it says uh, quite sold down here, uh, LV as well. Um, I have another agenda in the large size, but I didn't choose to buy LV then because I think they are pretty expensive, and I don't use it enough for me to think it's worth the money. Uh, but this one. Uh, I was quite uh, happy about it. I think I bought um, it cost around three hundred dollars, and then I have of course pay uh, twenty five percent the taxes because that's how it is in Norway. Uh, but it still came out uh, quite a nice price. If you th uh, when you think about this is uh, 
in like new uh, conditions. So this has not been used. There are no loose threads. There are no uh, nothing, no marks here uh, at all. And of course the leather, Epi leather is very durable uh, as well. But uh, this was uh, uh, a great deal. No scratches here either. So that was my uh, first reveal from uh, uh, the luxury closet. And this is not sponsored or anything. I bought it with my own money. Uh, let's move on then to uh, the other item I have bought from LV. And this is an item I bought directly from the store in uh, Oslo. And it comes in this uh, bag here. And inside the ribbon is in here but I have looked at it already and it has this uh, this Louboutin here and you open it and I think you can see from from the dust bag and the form of what this is I have a thing <laughs> uh, for buying in this because I think it's luxury for a lower price so I of course bought another luxury belt uh, I uh, have looked at the Damir belt before, but I have one in monogram and I thought I have another uh, other LV belts with the gold buckle, so I thought I don't need a uh, Damir Ebene belt with the gold buckle. Uh, but then I was in the men's section and I saw uh, the LV button with the silver, the be LV belt with the silver buckle. I don't know if you can see here, but it is in silver. And I thought, okay, this was nice, and uh, other items from uh, Louboutin had uh, increased uh, really badly with the new uh, price increase. But uh, this one had, had the old price, the belts uh, didn't go up in price. So I thought, okay, just buy one now before they also will increase. And the new thing about the LV belts now is uh, that they are reversible, because in the past, uh, if you bought an LV belt, uh, most 90% of them were not uh, reversible at all. Uh, so it meant that uh, you just had the uh, canvas side here if you bought the canvas belt. That was uh, the, the side to use. But now uh, the lady at the stores told me that no, no, they are reversible. So you see here now, you can just uh, open the buckle like this. It's, I uh, will use it most on this side, but if I put it on this side, uh, like this, I can also have a more subtle belt in the kind of a chocolate brown color. I already have black yellow belts, but I don't have like this uh, chocolate brown, so I thought this was just uh, perfect. Uh, I have another one that's a bit thinner, that's in, uh, in black, not reversible, so... Yeah, I got the then two belts in one, and then I thought, okay, this is a lot cheaper than buying the Hermes ones. I have some Hermes belts that are reversible, uh, but uh, none from LV. So this is uh, completely a new 2021 or 2022 thing from LV. But as you can see, this is in the Damier pattern. I have some uh, bags from in the Damier canvas. I also have a keep it bracelet or with the gold harbor, but who cares? Uh, that I can match nicely now with my belt and my bracelet and maybe a handbag. Uh, so it will be a nice match. It is see here, uh, five holes. I bought this in uh, size 90. I'm not the thinnest person, but I don't want the uh, thick either. So just a very average. So uh i'm very happy this is from yeah this is from week one in 2022 so i assume then maybe that this is a new 2022 thing from uh, Luton, uh to uh, have the reversible belts uh, i think my lv collection uh, of belts are complete now uh, if you haven't watched my other <laughs> new uh, belt with uh, in the reverse monogram uh, reveal uh, unboxing. I will link that video down below for you. Uh, I didn't think, like I said, I would ever get one in Damir Band, but uh, now I have one. I have one in reverse, I have in Damir Sur, I have in monogram, I have in the wave, I have in the monogram eclipse. 
and I have a complete black one, etc. So I think I have, yeah, I have two wave collection, uh, the wave collection belt, one black color and one blue in a denim, uh, kind of denim. So I think I have uh, just about enough now. And uh, now I have all three canvas prints also when I got this one. Uh, this was around uh, Norwegian kroners, 5,000 Norwegian kroners, 5,050 to be exact. Uh, but when you get two belts in one, I think it's uh, it's worth uh, the money. So this was my uh, other reveal. And uh, my last reveal, I will just put this away. And uh, my last reveal is from uh, Gucci. Uh, I bought this uh, preload also. It was from uh, a lady on the Norwegian uh, website called finn.no. Uh, 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 finn is a place where private uh, sellers can sell their stuff. But you have to be aware that uh, like eBay and other sites, there are a lot of fakes. Uh, but this lady, uh, she uh, lives in a very expensive part of Oslo uh, called Holmenkoll. So I, when I saw that she lived there, I thought, okay, this has to be the real deal because you don't buy anything fake from Gucci when you live in Holmenkoll and are a millionaire. Uh, because uh, if you don't uh, are mil if you're not a millionaire, you can't afford to, to live there. Uh, so uh, I sold my Gucci bag a couple of years ago. And I thought I will never get another Gucci bag because I'm not too much into Gucci. But then I saw this one and uh, it had quite, uh, she had quite a good deal on it. So I uh, decided then uh, to buy it anyway. This is called the Gucci Sasso bag and it's not canvas either. This is uh, the grain leather. I don't know if calves, calf skin or whatever. I'm not too uh, <laughs> sure with leathers. Uh, but it's like, uh, and has this uh, tassel here, and you see the GD uh, Gucci logo here. This is a shoulder bag, and nothing else. You see, they have these chains here, and uh, no feet on the bottom. This is about uh, 10 inches in length. And I have stuffed it now, but I can just take it out to show you how, what it looks like inside. I have these uh, two compartments. Let's uh, start here. The two compartments here. I'm not sure if it will fit the phone. I haven't tried yet, but yeah, it's had this canvas and inside. You see how the chains are attached. I'm not sure if you can. Yeah, you can actually remove the chains if you want to, uh, but I don't want that. Well, that was actually a bit difficult to get back, so I won't do, I won't do that again. But it also has this uh, zip compartment here. It says uh, Gucci here. You see the Gucci tab. And uh, inside here, I have this Gucci card here. It says here, it's uh, you can fit something here. And here I have... Uh, the receipt from the woman uh, she, uh, she bought it for like 8,700 kroners and after that as there has been a lot of price increases this was in 2013 and she told me she had used it about 10 times and uh, there are no scratches uh, on it it's uh, no wear uh, actually no wear and tear as you can see uh, uh, either so this is uh, was a quite a good deal and uh, she wanted uh, actually 5,500 for it, but I, if I bought it, uh, made a quick decision, she would let it go for 5,000. So uh, having a leather handbag for 5,000, a real good ship that she bought for 8,700, as I said. And today I think this will be maybe 15,000, like $2,000, uh, if you compare it to uh, dollars. Uh, so I thought this was uh, actually quite uh, uh, quite nice. So something here, no. Uh, so with the task, everything I thought, okay, this looks 
like a shoulder bag you see it's quite not so too low here uh, but if it's if you put it like this <laughs> yeah uh, it will um, be a nice bag so and this will be a keeper in my collection the other bag I was sold was canvas uh, but this one is uh, quite a nice uh, bag and for the price of it I couldn't uh, let it go so I met her in Oslo uh, she was very nice very friendly she came with her husband and uh, I uh, had no problems with this uh, deal at all so very very um, uh, happy with this so <laughs> there will be now a Gucci handbag in my handbag collection and this will be it so there you have guys that was my triple reveal for you uh, if you have the and Louis, Louis Vuitton belt, please let me know down below how you find the wire and tear. And if you have bought anything from Luxury Closet, I would love to hear from you uh, how you think about uh, that shopping experience. If it was a lot of wear and tear on it, etc. Uh, I would love to hear back. And uh, of course, if you should have his handbag in your collection uh, or uh, something similar. Uh, I would love to hear about that too. Uh, I hope you will have a nice day and until next time I will see you soon. Bye!